So moving to our definitions, I want to explain a little bit what's the subscription services portal and how and its relevance to our audience today. The subscription services portal is this image we can see here on the right hand side. It can be accessed by this link, uh, subscriptionservices.bentley.com. It can also be accessed only by administrators and co-administrators from the Connect Center. And it should be seen, I would say, as a landing page for administrators. The reason for that is because it's not only fulfilled with the resources that administrators can you know, utilize on a regular basis to manage their users and entitlements are also, also known as licenses. But it's also because we post regular updates from Bentley are uh, shared in there, filled in there. Those announcements, of course, are usually spread over several channels. You might be seeing notifications from the connection client, for example, with some of those announcements and updates. But this is a place where you can always check them and, and the, where they are concentrated. You you see the links at the top section of our page. It's also filled with the, some of the tools and resources, again, available for administrators mainly, primarily, and how you can take advantage of it. I would like to say a word about the administrators um, and who shares that role. I'm going to be covering the role of administrators and co-administrators a little bit further ahead. Every account has an administrator. It's often the case that when accounts are just set up, they have an administrator who is also the fulfillment contact. I'm going to explain the difference between them a little bit ahead. But all that is to say that this is a bit of a call to action. If you don't have a co-administrator, I believe you should be considering having one. Because the code administrator can share the responsibilities of and activities of an administrator. So we can grant them the same access and authorization to manage your users and entitlements. And it's good, for example, if the administrator needs holiday coverage or any other case in, of, of absence. In the resources that we're going to be covering today, you see paths or shortcuts, let's say, to access and monitor your subscription and also submit issues through the service requests. Subscription Entitlement Service, also referred to as SES, also known as Connect Licensing, it's simply the way we refer to Bentley's new licensing system. This is replacing the select service and, and activation keys that were used in the past. This is the licensing system that's going to be deployed moving forward for our applications. Um, recently acquired applications might not be on CSS, but there is the direction where Bentley is moving and where all the applications are going to be licensed under. This still reflects Bentley's licensing philosophy of trust licensing. And what we mean by that is that we will never deprive users of access to applications and to the resources they need to by default. This can be managed by the administrators and can limit, and administrators have the power to limit and manage which access each, their users have, but by default will never stand in the way of anyone ac trying to access anything. Some of the benefits of SES are that this can now be linked to their to IMS, so Identity Management System, which means that licenses are now linked to the user instead of a machine. So all the entitlements or the licenses and the access you're granted is given to you in relation to your IMS rather than the machine you're using. This is also another way to manage your licenses. In the case of, for example, someone leaving the company, you can easily remove them from your user base and that person will lose access to any of the licenses they were granted before. So regardless if they use carry on using the, a machine, for example, or even if someone has changed roles and shouldn't be accessing a piece of software anymore, uh, you can remove, revoke, let's say, access to some of the applications. Another benefit of the SES is that it's a live entitlement. What we mean by that it is that provides 
near real time reporting to us and that allows of course then is reflected to administrators so it reflects in k in it's beneficial in examples of alerting for example when you set up alerts of licenses and when you try to check out licenses for example and monitor real time usage of some applications uh, this is all now available via SCS, and it wouldn't be the case with select server licenses and activation case. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.